what is going on guys welcome back to another live stream we are definitely doing something a little bit different tonight a little bit different ah i'm excited excited panda bear what's going on man welcome to the live stream jaybird what's going on if you guys can't tell obviously we're here way earlier way earlier than we normally do so this is what we're going to be doing um just to let you guys know we're changing things up a little bit yo what's up lee smith what's going on what's going on yo yo patrick missed your live streams last couple weeks got caught up tonight oh yes excellent 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 so i i've been getting caught up um with the live streams okay so we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to go ahead and get started we're going to be here for a couple hours just to let you know um we're planning on changing and finishing up um probably right around 10 o'clock or right before 10 o'clock if i can get to this in intro quickly so um so before we get started big shout outs to our sponsors here let's go let's go ahead and do a quick sponsorship shout out real quickly and then we'll go ahead and get started okay this live stream is sponsored in part by tint Wiz. tint Wiz is a crm suite designed for window tinners from acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with tint Wiz. check it out at tintwiz.com you can also download it for ios and android don't forget your free 30-day trial at sign up this live stream is also sponsored in part by dry shrink prep dry shrink prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets made with 100 percent all natural ingredients dry shrink prep is changing the industry for the better one shrink at a time for more information and a purchase go to dryshrinkprep.com this live stream is also sponsored in part by solar effects window films at solar effects window films their goal is simple make your car look hotter while keeping your interior cooler their automotive window films are manufactured with the most advanced technologies available which allow them to deliver a broad range of products to meet your needs check out solar effects window films.com and find out why they're the fastest growing film company in the u.s lastly this live stream is sponsored in part by you the viewers if you're watching on youtube through the power of super chat or if you're watching on Facebook through the link in the description, you're able to go ahead and donate to the channel. All proceeds go to help support the channel and are much appreciated. And we're back here, guys. Thank you very much for those. Just a couple minutes. Okay, so what we've been doing is that I've been trying to do, I've been doing these live streams on Tuesdays and I've been checking out the numbers and they've been slowly, uh, slowly declining, which means people are, are starting to not care anymore. So I'm trying to revamp it, trying to give it some new fresh life and I'm trying to, um, to do something a little bit better. Also, with the live streams from the shop, the problem is, is that the internet is okay. Um, so it, I'm, I'm having to do certain things that I'm trying to do, do live streams from cars in the field. The problem is I don't have enough strength. I don't have enough Wi-Fi strength or internet strength. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm pre-recording all the installations. Okay. We're going to try something completely different. So stay with me, bear with me for a little bit. We're going to be pre-recording all the installations. So you guys are going to get high quality, no buffering, no skipping problems uh during the installation all right i'm gonna minimize myself and put it in, in the corners here so technically like i'm still live here but i'm gonna be reviewing it here so it's gonna be the same thing um as if i was live or at really in a garage doing it um just i i have to work with what i have unfortunately the good thing is is that i'll still be able here i'll be watching along with you guys and i will be answering questions as we go along so if you guys have questions that's you know that's one of the things is that this is so interactive when i can hear people and i and i and i shoot them with answers right away so you're going to be able to get the live stream talk to me and we're going to hang out for a little bit we're going to be doing everything so everything Big shout out to Alligator Window Tint. Way to finally do a live stream early enough to admit that I'm awake. Yes, 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 yes. I'm curious though why that didn't pop up here. I gotta double check on that one here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And then as we're working through, as we're working through the video, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, answer questions as they come through. So let me see here. Oh, there it is. It took a minute. Alligator window tint super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Way to finally do a live stream early enough that I'm awake. Hey, Dad. All right. Wait, how do you do? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna move this down this way. I think I'm gonna go super small. Right about there, I think is gonna be good. All right, and watch this. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Uh oh, nope, hold on.
<clears throat> All right, guys. There we go. <clears throat> All right, guys. Today we have a uh, 2001 BMW 530i. We're gonna do legal limit. We're gonna be doing 30 in the front, and then we're gonna do 15 on the doors and on the rear window as well. I have glass glass aid already on there. Jaber, thank you for so subscribing to the I'm channel. I really now, appreciate it. Thank just you very hit it up much. A little DSP before we start um, shrinking the back window. Uh, Jaybird asks, uh, do you guys need more slip during the bottom load? Um, the I do like to use a little, a little more slip this morning. Um, and like to just uh, preload it uh, uh, humid in Florida. down into the gasket. And that I way keep my when I slide the van. film in, Pretty it's cool. going to so, it's gonna slide a little bit easier. So you yeah, go from a little bit more zero humidity to a bunch of awesome. humidity. Yes. Um, you end up getting fogged Glass up lenses. has really been my so. go-to lately just because... Sunny. And I can't hear the live stream, so I, I hope I'm not talking over too much. In the future, when I'm doing the uh, the actual tinting, I'm gonna stay quiet so that like when I talk afterwards or during the stream, then we're good. Yeah, Jaybird, this is my home studio right here. if I need water. <laughs> Safe on glass, baby. Move this over here. Yeah, I've been really on that glass aid lately just because, um, I don't know, I can, just, I can get it right where I want to cut it. I don't even need to use a light. I don't need to go inside, switch lights around, things like that. We're just, we're good all day, baby. Is. We're good all day. Plus, it is it safe out. on Damn glass. It. It's, you know, because I'm cutting through the film and the glass stain. So, I'm not scoring into the glass. Right. Moving Solid. On. Uh, today, we're going to be putting on the Color Stable Dyed film by Solar SolarFX. The carbon FX. I think we're dry. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, Leroy, how long should it take to install this car? About an hour and a half to two hours. It took me about two hours, oh, right check. around two hours for me. That's all yep. hand cutting. 15%. Jared Turner, that's right, baby. DSP and glass state, an unstoppable combo right there. That's right, baby. Doing a lot more hand cutting lately, so I'll tell you what, I am really, really liking this glass aid. More for, I mean, one of the main reasons, obviously, is for um, its intended purpose, so that I don't scratch Big the shout glass. out to Alligator Window Tint for the $2 super chat. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. A lot quicker than for those guys are watching on YouTube, there is a super chat option if you guys are watching on Facebook. Uh, the link in the first in the description, the first link in the description, the is here. there if you guys would like to donate to the channel. You don't have to, but if you'd like to. Z Customs in the house! What's up, baby? Pretty standard, yeah. Now, Leroy, if I did, if I had a plotter and, did, and didn't hand cut, this car would have been done in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm much faster with a plotter.
Um, I had one little peanut that was giving me a little bit of rise, but nothing, nothing too crazy, bro. Nothing too crazy. Angle should be good. Jody Knight in the house. What's up, Jody Knight? Big shout out to Jody Knight with Max Pro Window Films. Whew. The newly appointed salesman over there. Normally, I don't cut out the third brake light, but in this model, it actually has a dot matrix around the third brake uh -oh, light. Oh, Jay Wise with the $4.20. Um, so uh, don't know. Thank you very much. Keep, uh, keep it thank simple. Thank you very much. Love the videos. I am going to be doing more videos just like this. I'm trying to figure out how to bring high quality content, change things up a little bit for you guys. I'm bring this up here. So I'm going to be here all the, we're going to be here all night. For those guys on Facebook, thank you very much for sharing. I can tell you're sharing it because the uh, the participation and the amount of people in the live stream watching right now is increasing. So thank you very much for that. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure to like the like the page, like the channel. Uh, make sure to hit the bell notifications. Uh, I'm trying to get more and more on this. So uh, I think this is a fun thing. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna like this. I got a walnut today. <laughs> Wow, really boosting it up there. If you guys are on YouTube as well, feel free to share, share the channel, share the video, like, comment, subscribe to all the goods. I am answering questions live, guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, now is the time. Watch the video. If you guys have any questions, what's going on in the video, shoot it right away. I can answer it right away. If you guys are new, welcome. Juan says, how do you determine when you take off door panels? Um, I don't take off door panels on any car that's over seven years old. Reason being is that plastic gets really soft and brittle at that point. I've had cars literally disintegrate on me. Oh, so I don't, I, I have a seven year rule for that for sure. Um, but it's kind of like, you kind of know which cars uh, you can pull panels on and which cars you don't. I don't usually pull panels on Chevys, um, Mercedes Benz, I'll pull panels on, uh, Hyundai's, uh, Usually the Kias are really easy as well. You kind of go with it. Juan, great. I'm glad you're liking it, baby. I'm glad you're liking it. Mike Cardoso, what's going on, baby? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream, man. Bird, ain't that the truth, baby? Ain't that the truth? I try to pop the top at first, see if I can pop the top and pull the seal out, or just pull the weather strip back so there's enough enough top. If I can't do that, then I'll loosen the screw in like the handle portion so I can pull it back further. And if I can't do that, then I take the whole panel apart. And if I can't do that, I put that shit back together and I top load it. <laughs> Z Custom says, Pat, I did a 2021 Peterbilt 567 this afternoon, man. That cam the full camera system turned out awesome. Even ran power and ground outside battery kills. Wow, nice. Nice. Don't get ratted on or busted like Matt uh, by your neighbors. Actually, 
this is my apartment this is my this is actually my master ba bedroom that i've converted into my studio what you're seeing in here this is not my garage this is the client's garage most of my clients actually not most all my clients have garages or else i don't work with them i do have a garage actually that i do do work for on property here um but i've never had any problems no one's ever given me problems so Would top load always be my first option? No, top load is not always my first option. My first option is always bottom loading. I find the bottom loading is much cleaner for me, a oh, cleaner of an installation. So I try to go with whichever is faster, top load or bottom load, and then I try to go with whichever is cleaner. So if it takes me longer to bottom load, but it's a cleaner install, then I will go that route. Cause I'm always going quality for quantity. But uh, I don't go either way, uh, whichever, like I said, whichever way is faster and the cleanest. Uh, Lee Smith, so you don't do installs outside being mobile? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, just because, especially in Florida, the weather is so unpredictable. It could be rainy, it could be hot, it could be sunny, it could be hailing, it could be downpouring, a number of different factors. It could be a little bit of wind, it could be a lot of wind, stuff that I cannot control. So for a client to be able to work with me and me to work with a client, they need to have an enclosed garage with power. If they do not, I offer a garage, a drop-off garage that they can bring it to me. If no, neither of those work, then we don't do business. Because the problem is, if I do it outside, it's going to end up being a shit install. I'm going to end up hating it throughout the install. Um, it's going to be obnoxious and the film is going to get contamination increases and all kinds of other crap. So, and that's going to be sent out into the world. And that's going to be a representation of my work. I can't afford my work to be looking like dog shit. Um, especially I'm going after the top 25% uh, uh, of people of income earners in the area. So I need my shit to be looking on par. Lee Smith if everything is right and the stars align and they only want to do two fronts I'll be outside if they understand maybe like maybe if I can get behind a wall or by a wall and there's no breeze but besides that I can't problem is I charge too much to uh to uh, to do crap work unfortunately Uh, Jaber says I got a trick with some plastic carpet shields. I want to show you some someday to bottom load No panels removed with these shields thin thin thin. Yeah, you know And it's like those those help those bottom loaders that kind of help a piece of metal sheath sheathing that you kind of put in and bend back They don't give me enough room. I need a quarter inch clearance half inch clearance um, That that little quarter inch or less is not enough for me uh, Atif asked why did you cut off the backlight in the glass actually? For this back class, the 2001, it's a very old car. By the way, I will not <sighs> be doing any cars more than 10 right, So the years. edges are raised this is, this slightly, ever so slightly. So I just like to with it. remove the, uh, but the glass there is actually aid a dot matrix and uh, around the, just go, the third brake you know, light. Go over so one more time that's around the why edges. I cut just the lay third it down. Uh, just be me, careful. I make sure that not the, cut the, third the right film isn't lifted up too far up off the glass. Because what I learned, obviously, is that like... Uh, what about it'll, Mack trucks? Uh, Those won't fit in most garages. Absolutely. Then I don't do them. It'll heat crease the film. Do Unless they have a, a location that they have. If the film is not laying down on the glass, Hell, there's some then F, it gets a lot hotter than if it's get laying down on the glass. Because it has the glass to cool it down. I learned that last time. Always learning. And Lee Smith, uh, Lee Smith says that I was trained to tint inside and outside. And that's how I learned I come out with good installs outdoors. But of course the conditions have has to be pretty good, you know, and I'm I'm not going it's to not do an install right here, if it's so too windy to or too much air contamination. Which means I'm going to draw a finger up to the a, top, a little bit which of is dust. good. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. you can't tint outside. I'm not saying that people don't tint outside. It says that I won't tint outside. Um, I want, maybe call me a control freak. I don't care Sir? what you want to call me. But oh, I yeah, want to oh, control yeah. Oh, yeah. as many, I've had smaller spaces, um, as many so, factors as yeah, possible. Yeah, that's good. Um, and being outside, there's too many I have water. I have a jug of water in my van, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. But if you can tent it outside and it's clean, assalamu alaikum, more power to you. You're better than me. <laughs> I have a jug of water. 
Give me one quick second, guys. I gotta check. I do have a new puppy, a brand new puppy. I gotta let her out from time to time. I'm gonna double check here. So I'll give me right back. I'll be right back. The video is gonna keep playing though. Hold on. It's like Pablo's dog. I, I wasn't thirsty at all. Then he said water and now I'm thirsty. <laughs> All right, so the back is all prepped. Um, I don't think I wanna do a reverse roll, but I usually come in from the driver's side. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna knock out these two sides, cause this is pretty solid. So I'm gonna knock out the driver's side and then I'm gonna shift the car over and then I'm gonna knock out the passenger side. And then when I'm done with the passenger, that'll give me access into the passenger side to install the back window. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, I theoretically, I guess I could come in from this side, but the quarters are a little smaller and space is a little smaller and things are just a little bit different when you do it reverse or opposite of what you normally do. A little morning dew. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, a 20 inch roll for the sides here. That's what I do like. If I am gonna be hand cutting, having a 40 inch roll for the back and then having a 20 inch roll for the sides, solid, solid. Just double check. Yep, we're gonna clear. We do the quarter first. I'm back. I'm back. Those mobile rulers. That's right, baby. Handling film yeah, like Pandora this. Says, is uh, I one start of the... off with uh, shrinking the back windows first. Makes. Oh, you can One focus the on the bigger pieces rather than leaving it till the end. Out. I like to go in from the right side, size, and the car was shifted to the right, so that's why I did that at that and, point. Uh, could end up ruining a lot of film that way. Ah, uh, do you, Jaybird asked, do you have to shrink the edges after glass day? Technically, you don't, but there it, it is lifted slightly, and it's not flat against the glass. Um, so I just give a, I do, I give it once over here. just to make sure that it all's down. About an eighth of an inch on the inside. Yes, we are hand cutting, an right and believe here, me, and I'm hand. working on getting a plotter, because holy crap. I'm mount into here, so I got a pretty good space all the way around. I can hand cut. I started by hand cutting. I just, mm, I don't know. And the dot, the matrix is on the inside here. So I think I'm just good just cutting it just as this, actually. Which is pretty nice. Jared Turner says, what do you think about the 24, 36 inch roll of split? I'm gonna stick it to single I'm cutting. I'm not a fan about the 20, uh, 24, 36. Um, oh my Lana. If you guys don't know, and you, guys double get, cut um, on a, you guys can get 60 on a inch rolls Chrysler 300 and have them cut week. down. Right? And so I, in I was here, just having the I have worst a 60 inch roll that's cut down like 40, I didn't have a slip solution. And I just I like 40, 20 the films because the, I know I'm going to be covered slid. and I'll actually have more I overcompensated on the sides. Um, so instead of like an eighth of an inch, it was like, like it, at least a quarter you know, of an inch trucks, on both I could sides. Throw the 40 inch so it was a nightmare to get in be good because to go. it was sticking, it wasn't um, sliding, and then I had to move it. 36 is on the back the window. You're going to come to some windows that are going to need 40s. Double cutting just so for me. It's really preference. Like I don't want to carry a 36 and a 40. It's just a lot of window film I'd have to carry. It's over here. So. But if that's what you guys want to do, what you can do is if you're going to want to do that, then I suggest getting a 40 first and then something. getting a 36. And then that way you always have 40. So in very backup, well just taken in case. care of 2001. I usually don't do cars this old, um, but uh, but exceptions were made. Robbing piggy banks and counting pennies for, the, because for the plotter right now. I like Ain't to that work. the truth, Mike? Like Ain't that busy. the truth? And of course, I like to make money. Uh, Panamera says, is that a 60 inch roll you use and cut down? Yes. Had SolarFX contact me and offered me uh, the 60 cut down. Nice. Nice. 
yeah mike uh actually i found a company that actually l does a lease program so it's essentially a payment pro payment process as long as your your credit um, is good enough that it'll cover it basically give it to you, you pay pay the lease and at the end you have the option to buy it for a dollar so i think that's what i'm going to be doing Welcome to the live stream everyone if you guys are new and just watching we're trying out something new a little bit different um, I have uh, Internet issues at the shop not good quality don't right? And when I'm mobile, pad. you know with some solutions, it's like I have no internet whatsoever So it's like I want to do these these live streams from the field But then I really can't because of the crap internet. So we're trying something new trying something a little bit different um, So I'm gonna be here. We're gonna be watching it. So you're gonna get full 1080p high quality no buffering you're going to be able to watch the whole video i'm still going to be here right in the corner watching right with you guys answering any questions that you do have if you guys are on facebook make sure to share and like and comment and if you guys are on youtube make sure to be a part of the channel and subscribe thank you very much So does this guy work with you? Uh, Juan, the guy in the video is me. You see his arm? You see my arm? Same guy. That's me. much i'd have to pay someone to tint well and for let let me strap a gopro to their face <laughs> mm. i don't know what's going on with the shop internet um i it's, it's just it's just not to the quality and i need a certain bit rate to run a live stream like here here in my live studio in my in my home studio i i run a gig so that's like so much like you only need like like six seven eight megabits per second or something like that and like i have 900 a thousand so there's more than enough here um just the internet is just like regular regular internet so mm -hmm. um yes i do have a mobile peel board um Actually, Martin so from Alligator Windowton hooked it up with that know, peel board that I do have. It's a gray peel board. I it's a plexi diesel. board. I mean, it's, it's flexible. I just slide it into the back of my right? van. And, so and now, and I have a mobile. I peel usually board. work on cars that are one to five years old. A little cleaner, a little easier, so, less yeah. work, actually, uh, less process. Uh, Martin actually picked the cars up not one as old, so it doesn't it has green, less problems. That's one of his, uh, one of the um, main colors for. So, his, but one thing on these older cars that I would suggest is to scrape them. Um, just a regular scrubby pad. Uh, well, it does good, but I love that tank. it could do better. I have like one little flake right here. Um, it's deemed acceptable, but I'm always trying to improve. Um, and a razor blade on that would have would have uh, got that off. So sometimes you just have, you know, 
10 year old grim and grime a piece of a piece of dirt or something that's been there for so long um, especially with these older cars so just keep that in mind um, okay, I'm gonna turn the car on that's another thing with these older cars you don't know when how old the batteries are so you got to be diligent and quick with the with um, working on them especially the roll-ups the side roll-ups because um, if this is an older if this is an older battery the battery could die a lot quicker a lot easier so it's gonna give it a quick once over here also give it a little scrapey scrape Jaybird, I love them towels. Those are the Costco towels, man. I love those towels. You know, a debate can also be made that these older cars, you know, they're they're not brand new, right? So like owners know that and know that there's small things already imperfections Seaweed. in the vehicle, which means that they potentially could um, let go. Not a perfect installation. You know, I don't know. Just brainstorm and thoughts you know the same debate could be that someone that has this car has loved this car for 20 years and they know everything about it so it's not always the rule but Trying to keep it very close on this car. I do believe I'm gonna to have to shrink it actually. <laughs> it's going great. Going great. You've kept good care of this. What? You've get you've kept good care of the car. Uh Juan asks, how did you start? Yeah, sometimes uh, I usually do like when I cars are like started, one to five I years old. On my own. So I don't typically I, um, work on older cars. Um, but you've done very good on this car. I researched. Done very well. I was online and I researched uh, window tinting. And let's say again. I found a few channels. I found a few Oh, really? Channels. I did a lot of videos off of Matt's channel. Um, when Ralph Van Pelt was doing videos, I, I, were, I learned a lot about oh, okay, his channels okay. and such. And I tinted about a, a dozen, two dozen cars, and then I started working in the shop. So. so that's where it was. And then I spent wow. probably the next you nine did the, months working you did the in roof, the shop. Right? The, the headliner? Uh, and, you know, cut my teeth and, and really Still getting comfortable with, with uh, tinting all together. Oh, okay, okay. Arby says, are you using ceramic or carbon film here? Um, this is Carbon oh, okay, FX okay. 
so it is a a, a metal not a metalized nice. it's a dyed film it's a it's a color stable dyed film you, you've been here long or no yeah, no, no it's two, months. two months okay you like it yeah better than, than there right it's just it's just hot right like right now is the worst this is time why of I year need a plotter, it's just too hot right now but I'm such but a perfectionist. There's like, no snow. I just take my time. You know, it's it's beautiful during the winter time. Look how slow I'm going. No <laughs> Cut these corners. It's like, ah. It's so hard to work, right? Say, that? Say again. It's so hard to work on. Cold front. Thank you very much for the one dollar donor. Oh, oh yeah, it, it makes steel it. Boards. It makes it. Uh, it's a piece of acrylic. Hot. But I'm so used like, to it. It's like 44 inches it's by 60 inches. It's just part of the inches. job. Piece now. of acrylic. <laughs> you can just Google it. Uh, and have a local, a local place supply it for you. Well, that's. I'm from LA. Thank you very yeah, much. For yeah, the I, grew up, uh, I grew up in LA. Plus, this is the uh, it's the Dodgers away logo. I'm a huge Dodger fan, so. <laughs> yeah, some people ask, "Are you just a fan of LA?" I'm like, "No, no, I'm from from LA." <laughs> yeah, my sister she she lives here and they moved to here too. So after a few months, we we moved also. Ah. Family does that. It's, it's what happens. What about your recording? Do you do like YouTube channel or something? Um, I do, I do a um a YouTube channel for window tenders. So like I teach and I train window tenders how to do certain work. But then I also it it also doubles up like when I'm working on Juan, cars. Get yourself some I film, record get yourself some it. That way, if something happens, get after it. They're like, baby. "Oh, you dinged it! You what hit I my did. door and you ding it." I, I have video that like I'm like, "No, I didn't. <laughs> like I didn't do any of that." <laughs> it's just it doubles up for for uh, content and um, and just no to cover myself as a business. Do a top load. One of my rules oh, yeah. is that it's I do not, not mean, bottom load it's cars It's a hyper over seven small years niche. Old. It's my uh, hyper small. I've been doing it for a few years. Why. It's like it's because plastics it get brittle. They, no. get, <laughs> they, they get really brittle. So I could pop this door yes, panel off. And the plastic as long as, it, as, long as you pay the, it pays the bills too. Because I've done stuff where I love and it didn't pay the bills. I'm like, so I don't do that. Uh, on everything. I was trying to. I did do that. I was trying to make money instead of do something I enjoy, which is always not a good thing. Never a good thing. Cold front with the uh, with the one dollar dono I really appreciate it. Right, exactly. Couldn't stand I, someone I, being I, there I the whole time. Do, I, I Fortunately, he is not there the whole time. I answer some of his questions. You know, we're talking nice, nice. I'm never obviously never rude, but I, I'm still staying focused on the job at hand. Oh, nice. I don't stop. So that hopefully they can oh. start reading some of my nonverbal oh, okay, okay. cues, my body language when I'm not stopping for them. Filmmaking, so sit there and hell yeah! The whole time and now's the time. There's film, film stuff, and cameras and gear is so much more affordable now than it was even 10 years ago. So you could do it, man. If you could do it, just pick it up and keep recording. You only get better. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to uh, put my voice, my voiceover, over a little bit louder than the uh, video. Um, I can't a little hear since the I video itself, don't so I don't know what I'm saying in the video. All I hear is the music in the background, and then me myself that talking that right now. Truly so I can't hear the video. So, a sedan. in the future, I probably won't be talking in the videos because of this purpose.
See, and that's another thing, like, this is a 91, and most cars, but a few, you don't need to shrink the sides, um, especially if you're bottom loading. I mean, especially, yeah, especially if you're bottom loading. If you're top loading, you might need to shrink a little bit, depending if you don't know how to squeegee for a top load that you didn't shrink. But like this, you definitely need to shrink it. Definitely. So I already scraped her. I gave her an initial cleaning, so I'm just gonna give her a good once over again. Uh, that's a red and black craftsman heat gun you can get from Lowe's. It used to be the old, uh, the old Porter cable heat guns. Same thing. And as you can tell, I'm not going fast. We're not trying to break any speed records. We're just, just taking our time, taking it right. Jared asks, what do you think about using Dawn instead of J&J &J as slip? Behind preference, the preference. VR. I hear Dawn doesn't build up like J&J. J&J will build up over time. Um, but I've used J&J since the jump, since the very beginning. So Try to go I'm a creature of habit, so I'm gonna probably stick with it. Yeah. It'd have to take a lot for me to change. Plus, I like the smell of J and J versus the smell of Dawn. It's an eighth to a sixteenth, and realistically, I do that because I don't shift the film down when I'm hand cutting. Um, so it's like from top to bottom, it's exact. So whatever the gap is on the top, that's how deep it's going to go into the into. The, where the hell did my shank go? That's how deep it's going to go into the seal. Where the... I swear to God, I just had it. Y'all saw me. Mm. RV asked, this is, are, are all heat guns pretty much the same? Some say Warner Ferno is the best. Um, I like the, the little Warner gun, the little ones, $24 ones, they're okay. Um, they don't push a lot of air. I do not like the digital one that they offer. That's too many clicks, too many buttons to hit. I like something you turn on and wait, turn off. Um, so I'm really digging deep. this. The used to be the Porter cables. Now it's the Craftsman red ones from Lowe's. They're about $50, 50 or $60, um, but a lot more airflow, excuse me, a lot more airflow, a little mm. bit of a beefier gun. And, and um, I, I really enjoy it. And I feel like it shrinks a little bit faster than the, uh, the Wagner, the yellow Wagners. Yeah. 
And that's a good thing. Where the heck did my shank? There it is. There's my shank. Get rid of this towel. So on this vehicle, I don't know if you can see it. Here's the bottom of the windowsill and here's the inside of it. So the inside is literally a quarter of an inch. Oh, it's a very good amount. Oh, more, a little more than a quarter of an inch above the seal here. So that's why it was so difficult to get it in there. Um, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. It's not typical to uh, to slide up the film during an install, but I might have to in this case, because as you can see here, look again, look it's it's as thick as my finger. Here's the outside, and the inside is like as thick as my finger is up. Here's the top of it. So that's a lot. That's a lot to work in, and it becomes a pain in the butt. So good to know. These fingers keep popping back up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them right now, and then I will get back to those in a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let those sit around, let, let some moisture out of there, let it dry up a little bit inside there, and then that way, when I hit it with a little heat and, and push it down later, it's a better chance of it actually laying down. Okay, I'm gonna do 30 in the front, so. Let me go get my 30 roll. It's a nice morning. Oh, can't tell. We don't do 30 much in Florida. <laughs> Even though it's the, the legal limit. Yeah, see, and those are another things. Those are the things I'm talking about when you work with older cars that you're like, oh, what the hell? So I'm gonna cut this close on the sides again, which it did well here, but I'm actually gonna cut the bottom, and then I'm gonna push it up to meet in line with the top of that. That way when I gap it a quarter of an inch from the top, not quarter of an inch, wow, an eighth of an inch or a 16th from the top, um, that's how deep it'll go into the gasket. Don't forget which is which. Oh, so this is the new one because I know I just I just did that to the tape. But this is a 60 inch roll chopped down 40-20. So if you look at this 20 inch roll, there's nothing in the core. But if you look at this 40 inch roll, there's information of the roll. What it is, what film type, what shade, um, and then the the run number so if you do get a 60 inch and get it chopped down like this make sure that in the core that is not uh, have a description in it get a sharpie in there and write um, what it is that way you don't get films mixed up do I have a new towel I do have a new towel mm -hmm.
Juan Rodriguez asks, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this uh, going on five years this October. Going on starting five years this October. Three and a half, four and a half. Yeah, starting. <laughs> been doing it for five years? I've been at the shop for three and a half years. Or three years back in March. And it was the fourth year. So this, I'm finishing up my fifth year right now. And if yeah. you trust your factory, I was at the shop. I mean, I've been at the shop. You can just since 2017 Straight in March. Up, line up the bottom. That's three years, and I worked in Alabama for and a year. Cut and shift. So it's four years. Which, yeah, so I'm finishing up. Don't trust so I'm gonna be. I'm on my. I'm finishing up my fifth year now, cut. starting my sixth year in October. Jared Turner asks, "Does it matter what side of the window you start cutting on?" No, not really. It doesn't matter. Left side, right side, it doesn't matter. I feel like it's gonna slide on me, so I'm just gonna tack it down. Look, I tacked it and it still slid on me. Which it should be fine, but if I was cutting this way, I was actually pulling the film also, so you be careful with that. Good right there.
Panda Bear says, do you feel like you waste more film hand cutting? I know you're your team plotter on on your good days. Um, no, I mean, it's kind of like the cost of doing business. You just kind of go with it. So, yeah. Um, and RV says, how much harder would it be with a ceramic IR? Same thing. Pretty much the same damn thing. There's really no difference. Um, I've been talking to some people. Some people did message me. Um, I understand that the video audio and me talking over it um, is obnoxious as hell. And I do apologize. I can't hear the video audio, so I don't know when I'm talking over. So what I'm going to do is when I answer questions, I'm just going to kind of lower the volume down and then bring it up as well when we go back into it. So it's not too overbearing in the future. I'll just make sure that I'm not going to be talking when I shoot videos in up in here doing this. So it's so then that way when I'm talking, it's not going to interview with questions. So sorry about that, guys. I don't mind hand cutting, but I really can't wait to get a plotter. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Uh, is that a Harbor Freight rolling chair? It actually is a rolling chair. I prefer the <sighs> Cobalt ones from Lowe's. Those ones are actually a little bit better. The cushions are a little bit thicker. The wheels are a little bit better quality. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. What shrink technique is that? Um, I think what that's called is it's called a double snap. You shrink it once and then you lift the bottom. You tack down the sides and then you re-shrink it again. It just ensures that it's a, a solid shrink. Rick Tallman says, I love the smart card. Uh, yeah, the smart card's a solid, a solid choice. I switched, I switched over. That's, that's the hard card of choice for shrinking for me. Mac tack smart card for sure. Hmm. So the question is, how do you determine the price? Uh, I know every car is different along with size, but, but some people seem... So I, I go on the averages. So trucks, sedans, and coupes are pretty much the same price for me across the board. The only, the only price increase is when I go for minivans and full-size SUVs. Those are going to be a little bit more in um, because there's more material, so there's more time to install. And um, and then I just go like a, 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 a film percentage so my film my film cost across the board is about 12 and a half percent on average uh tropical tropic car more <laughs> what's the peel board you have back black glass it's not black glass it's actually a piece of acrylic it's like a 44 by 60 inch piece of acrylic Joe Joe V says absolutely love your vids. You and Matt are amazing. Keep doing what you do. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much, Joe. Appreciate it. And it all really is. Uh Panda Bear asks, have you used a bit vintage black series? I know you keep your film higher quality along with your prices. Um I haven't I think I used it back in the day when I like I did I worked with a sample of it. I don't use the vintage series. I'm not 100% sure, but I wanted I, the goal that I wanted. I wanted all my film to have a premium lifetime warranty. I didn't want to have five year warranties or anything like that. I wanted to have all lifetime warranties. I know I wanted to have a single dyed option and then two ceramics, a high end, uh, an entry level ceramic, and then a high end ceramic. And then that's why I chose those films. take a look oh yeah much cleaner much better installation oh yeah very nice Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna whip the car around. I'm gonna work on that side. Careful. 
Um, I don't have a personal brand, private brand for Sun Solutions window tint. Um, so, uh, Mr. Wallace, um, <clears throat> I use solar effects window films, so you can go ahead and check them out, but that's what I use. Not a whole lot of room, but it does give you some room. All right, let me switch my battery real quick and we'll go ahead and move on. <coughs> All right, now, new towels. Let me go ahead and install the uh, back window. Uh, yeah, Rick um, Rick says uh, so is this live commentary on already done video? This is really cool. Yes um, <clears throat> I was I was having issues when you when you want to go live streaming live from a shop um, The shop I was working at or I, I am still working at um, the internet wasn't really that great um, So it was starting to get shoddy the quality goes down um, So this way I can go ahead and basically do the same thing But I'm just not at the shop at the time, but then I'm still able to answer questions um, as we go So so these are pre-recorded, but the quality is much better. There's gonna be no buffering um, and then you still have me answering questions live for you so that then that way there's no there's no missed opportunity because that's one of the big draws of doing live installations is that people can ask questions about what you're doing right then and there and you can get them answered right away which is really cool so I'm just I'm working with what I have um, plus also when I'm with Sun Solutions tinting and I'm in the field which I am for this video um, I don't have enough bandwidth and enough internet to be able to live stream at a high quality or even at all actually so that's why we're doing this and seeing how it goes um and like i said i'm just trying to work with what i have maybe the adhesive or the foam something Opa. Tight quarters in here. Tight quarters. So Smokin92 says IRFX versus Extreme 2. How do you price them? I don't use Extreme 2. Um, it's just I don't uh I, I just don't carry it. I carry um I carry the carbon FX, I carry the IRFX, and then I carry the FX plus. I want it to have a, a bigger jump. I didn't want to have the IRFX. Theoretically, you can go IRFX, FX, F, uh, Extreme 2, and then the FX Plus, and have a good, better, best option only in ceramic. 
optional um but i just i go with with whatever it costs me um i try to stick around 12 and a half percent film costs so so if it i don't know yeah <laughs> Jet 612 super chatted $1.99. Random. Ever done a Wrangler BG without shrinking? Uh, Wrangler backlash without shrinking? No. Um, just because there is a little bit of shrinking that needs to be done. And the defrosters are too thick that, that um, it'll let air in. It becomes a nightmare. The front windshield, though, on a, on a uh, Jeep Wrangler, uh, unbelievable. It's the only window, the window that front windshield that you don't need to shrink on so definitely appreciate the two dollar super chat thank you very much for that rick thomas says excellent idea i'm gonna have to have to get some marketing ideas from you i'm seeing your strengths hey it's not about showing strengths or weaknesses it's about just trying to work with what you got and and trying to show show things that people like i'm not always the best at that trust me you know what I mean? I've I've some released some videos that people really don't even care about, but you you know you you test it, you try it, and you see what works best. So, thank you very much. I appreciate everyone for watching. We're gonna keep going on. There's still a lot more to go. Still a lot more to go. For those guys that just joined us, thank you very much. We are starting something new, something different. I'm going to be doing live streams still just like I would be in the field, but we're going to do a better, a much better, higher quality content here. Um, and I'm going to be here watching live with you guys, answering questions live. You guys might have either referring to the video or just in general, I am here. Thank you very much. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever you go live or upload new videos make sure to give a like on this video as well please if you guys are watching on facebook thank you very much for joining us and make sure to take a moment and share the content please it really does help with the reach of the video and all thank you very much uh juan rodriguez the back windshield looks like a pain in the ass yep it was this is this is one reason why i won't be doing cars that are more than 10 years old anymore or i'll be charging double because then it's worth it at that point <laughs> I might regret that. I have to slide the film like a sixteenth down. Jet six hundred twelve super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Thanks, Pat. I always wet shrink them. Good content. T Jet, thank you very much for the two dollar super chat. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you always wet shrink, you should try dry shrinking. And if you're gonna dry shrink, you should try dry shrink prep. Check it out, dryshrinkprep.com. Just kidding. No, seriously though. Um, dry string prep is an awesome, and it's a healthy alternative to dryer sheets. If you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. It is amazing. Um, people love it. So uh, if you've never, uh, and if you don't want to use dryer, dry string prep and you do want to use dryer sheets, even though it's incredibly toxic, um, you should try dry shrinking because it is a much more even um, shrink. You know, with wet shrinking, you're aggressively shrinking certain portions and not touching other portions. So, you know, it's it's the the structural integrity of the film changes and, and varies between points of the film. Whereas if you're dry shrinking, it's more of an even shrink across the entire board, which would the, the theory is, is that number one, it makes it easier. And number two, it minimizes any failures. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bear super chanted nine dollars and ninety nine cents at Daniel Reyna. 
thank you very much panda bear definitely appreciate the ten dollar super chat thank you very much at daniel reyna i it's a completely different time frame usually i don't see daniel reyna during the evening um live streams i do see him during the day live streams when we are streaming live from the shops um so i don't know if daniel's gonna be in here but i definitely appreciate the uh the love and support and daniel reyna if you're out there you're you're, you're being called my friend people were wondering where you're at <laughs> Jaybird asked, "How much was this job? This was a uh, this was a a dyed job, and it was 189. So 189 plus tax. I I do have to go back and do a glare strip. I charged 29 for a glare strip, so I got 218 for this job, which isn't too bad. A couple hours worth of work. Plus, I get to sit here and be with you guys." Uh, Jay uh, thank you very much for a five dollar tip. Uh, it says, "How much cleaning is involved with?" Uh, with the back glass um yeah. there's more cleaning involved with this back glass than a typical back glass um but realistically people don't touch the back glass so there's no, i mean roll up windows they roll up they roll down they you know smoke a cigarette flick it outside spill drinks on it but realistically the back glass doesn't get too dirty i do wet it down i do rub it and scrub it with a with a with a wet scrub typically back glasses don't get too dirty though Panda Bear super chatted fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Panda Bear with a fifteen dollars super chat. Thank you very much, Panda Bear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Plus, there's like sand in this chair. Ah, uh, Mr. Wallace says, uh, "How easy? How easy is it to work with Solar Effects?" So, for someone who's starting up, starting up a tent shop, what should what should my startup inventory be? That's a good question. Um, how easy is it to work with Solar Effects? Clearly, I'm showing in the video. It's easy. If you see me having any difficulty, it's not because of the window film. It's because of the the age of this vehicle. Um, and it, it, your startup inventory could be different. It really just depends on um, what your cash flow is like, right? If you only have, you could start window tinting. I'm not joking you. You could probably get tools for a couple hundred dollars, basic tools for a couple hundred dollars, and you can get one roll of film for probably 150 200 and you can get started just like that if you have a little bit of cheddar um you can offer one lineup of film in like let's say a 515 or 30. you you want to have five percent for the darkest uh, for for legal people that want to dance with the devil and go legal um you want to have 15 or 20 percent most likely 20 percent so that you can match factory glass and then you want to go with the darkest legal in florida it's 30. if you're in like alabama mississippi georgia it's 35 so check your 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 local state laws and regulations for that so and then if you have the cheddar you can offer a better best or a good better best but you want to have three shades within each lineup that you offer like me i have a dyed option in 5 15 30 i have an entry level ceramic in 5 15 and 30 and i also have a high-end ceramic in 5 15 and 30. i also have uh, uh, a better best option i have a 50 and a clear for windshields in my better and then i have a 50 and a clear for windshields in my best option so that's what i offer smoking 92 yeah you know matt really 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 enjoyed uh clay bars on the back window um, he was like probably one of the pioneers that started clay barring a back window uh, And uh, and I haven't tried it just yet, but I will get to it. I will get to it for sure But yeah, um, it's uh, clay barring a back window starting to definitely rise in popularity. Absolutely Uh, Rick Tallman says, uh, tell Jay, tell Jay Bird I said hello. Jay Bird. Rick Tallman says, hello. You and I need to get together. I'm super impressed with what you've done. Uh, you have technical knowledge that I'm happy to barter for. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. For Clay. <laughs> Jay Bird says for Clay. All right, I'll get back to it. Thank you very much for, for uh, all those questions, guys. Thank you. On the side, there's no dice because you can't can't heat those out it'll just crease on you take the 
pull those in that corner. Jay Wise. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jay Wise says, Panda Bear, stop super chatting. <laughs> Don't do it, Panda Bear. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. <laughs> Got a little moisture at the bottom. I'm just trying to get out. Very nice. Mariners Decker, what's going on, man? <laughs> All the way from the Netherlands, man. It's been a minute since I've seen you, man. Good, good to have you back. Good to have you back. Awan says, do you have to take off factory tint in order to install new tint? Can you take off factory tint? Some seem to like the actual... Some seems like the actual glass. Um, water, tint's friend. Tinter's friend and enemy at the same time. Ain't that the truth, baby? Ain't that the truth? Are these new towels doing some killer ones? <laughs> yeah, these are some new towels. Actually, these are the towels from Wa from Walmart. Panda Bear Super Chatted $19.99. I'll let you watch in peace now. <laughs> Woo! Jay Wise, Panda Bear, got, me, got you back there. Panda Bear, thank you very much. So generous with the $20 Super Chat. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. He says, I'll let you watch in peace now, Jay Wise. I think that one's to you, my friend. <laughs> Juan says, I Super Chat, I'm broke. Need to start tinting. Hey, hey. Hey, baby, if you don't, if you don't have to, you do not have to super chat. You don't have to tip. You don't have to do anything. Um, feel free. You know, if you guys want to, what will help me out, share the video. If you're on Facebook, share it. If you're on YouTube, like it, subscribe to the channel. I mean, that's all I ask for. It all helps out, baby. You know, you can do what you do. And some, uh, some people do, you know what they can do. So you're not obligated, but I appreciate it. One yeah, appreciate it. The inside. A little bit, not nearly as much as the driver's side. That eh, maybe a little bit on this side. So, probably all the more reason why you should start with the passenger side, so that anything you learn, you already learned by the time you get to the driver's side. So the driver's side is what matters. Tip from Jaybird, never eat yellow snow. Ain't that the truth? Jay Wise to twenty five dollars. So sit down, Panda Bear. Jay Wise is in now. Dang, Jay Wise, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jay Wise. Definitely appreciate that twenty five dollar tip. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. The dono is very much appreciated. Shots fired, Panda Bear. Shots fired. He says Jay Wise is in here now. <laughs> Uh, Jaybird, I can't remember what I was looking at.
a day without con <laughs> is that a 24 inch roll you grab for the back window that is not a 24 inch roll that's a 40 inch roll RV says uh, most of my customers are asking for carbon or ceramic very few got uh, go for metalized what's everyone's experience um, I don't even offer a metalized film uh, I don't offer a metalized film anymore um, just because the metals that could sometimes interfere with GPS AM radio things of that nature um, so I either go for dyed and I go for ceramic I want my entry level is going to be like minimum amount people just want to get their shit tinted here's what you need and then i want my second level i want the most bang for your buck so if you go it pushes people to go for that for that next step so i go 189 and then my entry level ceramic is 299 and so but you get much more heat rejection for 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 your your buck so the value you get or the the boost on your dollar is much more and then my high-end ceramic i just tell people that's for clients that just don't give a shit about money they just want the absolute very best this is it Uh, jayboard uh no no i'm gonna do a top load on all the windows i'm not gonna be bottom loading any windows so the older cars i just don't bottom the older cars Panda Bear Super Chatted $49.99. Who's twice? Holy shit! Panda Bear with a $50 super chat says, Who's Jay Wise? <laughs> Woo! Dang, Panda Bear, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Shots fired, Jay Wise. Just saying. Just saying, man. <laughs> Definitely appreciate, appreciate that $50 super chat. Thank you very much. Donations definitely help. Definitely appreciate it. Gonna zoom in there before my old lady. Uh, you can't see me. Uh, you could before. Were you dressed? I was going to, not anymore. Never mind. People can definitely hear you. People can hear me. Uh, I should probably mute. All right. So normally you can't see that portion, but it was dark. That's my old lady back there. So I got to make sure. So, oops. Oops. But seriously though wow thank you very much appreciate the 50 dollars super chat thank you very much that is amazing um someone asked what is super chat super chat is a, if you're watching on youtube um you can super chat it donates to the channel to help support the channel if you're watching on facebook um it wouldn't be you there is no super chat option but if you go into the first link in the description it go there's a tip section and that's a donation section it's the same exact thing but just facebook doesn't have a way to monetize that so <coughs> excuse me Jet 612 super chatted $4.99. Man, you should just tint your work van over and over while raking in them super chats. 
TJ, uh, thank you very much for the five dollars super super chat. It says, man, you should just tint your work van over and over while raking in them super chats. It ain't always like that. You know what? This is an anomaly just because we're we're doing something different you know what i mean normally i'm just doing like a topic or some sort so whenever it's like new and fresh and different there's a lot of people coming in and it happens sometimes you know just people just get into like super chat and tip wars like crazy you wouldn't believe it um i know for a fact matt matt super chatted got into a super chat war um in his live stream he made like five six hundred dollars on one of his live streams once actually you see my name is up there top donos one um I got into a bid war with I think it was Daniel Reyna and I uh I uh I donated like 200 250 dollars to Matt's live stream once and uh or something like that so you know it's sometimes it's all for fun and, it, and it's to help support and, and whatnot and it just makes it it, it just the vibe is a lot a lot a lot, of, a lot crazier when that happens Ah, uh, someone said that is is that lease program on the plotter through Roland? Love your streams, by the way. That, you have to ask. There are some places. I know I spoke to someone from Matico today. They said that they have a lease program as long as you fill out the form for the lease and then that that you're approved for it. Obviously, you have to be pre-approved for it. Um, but I'm sure there are people that do more people that do leases or payment pro, pro, payment options um, than you would believe because most plotters, real plotters. Uh, uh, Roland, Graftex, um, Jaguars, you're going to be in the $5,000 range. And not everyone can just pay out of pocket for that. Uh, Jaybird asks, um, do you curl in when top loading corners? Do I curl in? Yes, I try to curl in. Yes, correct. Yes, I do that so that I can don't bunch the bottoms. Jeremy says, sucks YouTube takes a cut of Super Chats. The good thing is the Super Chats, they only take 30%, uh, so which leaves me 70%, which is better than the ad revenue, which is a 45-55 split. So I'll take it. Clear, considering that YouTube provides the platform for me to be able to do that. Oh. Hold on. Mike D super chatted $10. What's up, Pat? Been using dry shrink prep for a while now. I love it and it doubles as an air freshener. Lol, it smells so good like bubble gum or something. Um, so yeah, um, YouTube offers me the platform to be able to do this and reach out to everyone. So you got to give a cut to one, baby. I get it. Yeah, you know, uh, Mike D with a $10 super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Mike D says, what's up, Pat? Been using dry shrink prep for a while now. I love it. And it doubles as an air freshener. Smells so good, like bubble gum or something. Actually, that smell is blue cotton candy. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for using uh, dry shrink prep. It does help and it does support me too. And that's another way. If you guys want to help and you want to support me and maybe you want to get something back for your cheddar, um, then you can go to drystringprep.com. I sell I sell dry shrink prep. And that way, if you guys wanted to, you guys can purchase a product. You can get a product and you're helping and supporting me as well. So you don't have to just straight up don donate if you don't want to. If you feel like you want to get something back for that, then you can hit it up. Just like that. Uh, but... Big shout outs, JY's $25 super chat, $5, um, $5 uh, dono, excuse me, $5 dono, $1 dono, $1 dono, $420 dono. Thank you very much for that. Definitely appreciate that. You're amazing, JY's. Yeah, Facebook and YouTube, they're a little bit, it's called restreaming. So I stream, I'm actually, for those of you guys that are watching, I'm streaming to YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm streaming to my Facebook business page, which is, um, what the hell is it? it? You can find my Facebook business page at Patrick Latman page on Facebook. Uh, and I'm sharing that to my window tinting business group, which is also online. I'm also sharing it to my window tinting classifieds group as well. Um, but then I'm also streaming to my biz personal business page, Sun Solutions Tinting. Um, and then that way, my local clientele who have liked my channel can see that I do more than just kind of tint windows. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to spread it out as much as I can, as much as I can. You know, this stuff, 
you know it just solidifies my m me as a subject matter expert um you know people will probably feel a little bit more comfortable if they know that i train other tenters as well with me working with them and so it can turn into into a revenue stream that way as well tj uh tj said just got my dsp you just wet the bag with a mix in right and then apply um every other dryer sheet method safer of course um yeah basically i i try not to oversaturate and you gotta let it dry i don't like to wet it wet it wet it and then just leave it i like to wet it um and just moisten it and then rub it until it's dry and it leaves a nice glaze it leaves a real nice glaze yeah if you guys don't know dry shrink prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets i started dry shrink prep because i was using dryer sheets on a constant basis and i after some research dryer sheets are incredibly toxic so i'm trying to get myself 15 20 years into the industry but i want to do so without killing every damn brain cell i have so i came up with dry string prep dry string prep is an all natural 100 all natural uh product and it and it results in the same very very close to the same haze or glaze that a dryer sheet would do without any of the toxic residue so that's why we i have it um rv what's the link to your classifieds page if you go to window tinting window tinter tinting classifieds i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the link here here is the link to my my window tinting window tinting classifieds page it's there's not a lot of posts on there it's strictly for people that are looking for work or looking to hire that's where you go there's not a lot of comments um there's not topics and stuff on there very simple straightforward do you have a job throw it on here are you looking for a job look on there that's it If you guys want to be a part of my Facebook, my Facebook business page, you guys can check out this link right here. I've never even shared these links, which I definitely should. And if you guys would like to be a part of my Facebook group, Window Tinting Business, which this channel used to be named after, you guys can check it out here. We're over, I think we're about to hit 6,500 members. Yeah, we are. 6,488 members in this group. A lot of good knowledge in this group. If I can't answer it, the group can. It's a phenomenal group. Um, they don't bullshit and don't they don't they don't fuck around in there. You know what I mean? They're they're good people that want to help. All that toxic and nastiness from other groups that typically there there are other good groups that are ran, but there are some groups out there that it's like the Wild West. You ask the question, even a greenhorn question, and it's like murder. So I, I I did away with all that and I just started my own group. So feel free to join. Feel free to join. If you guys are watching on Facebook, I'll go ahead and add my link here. You guys can go ahead and click that link and go to my YouTube page and you guys can check out my, my stuff there and other content as well. I've started adding both Facebook and YouTube um, and just double dipping on both ends. Um, but if you guys want to see some of my other content, you guys can check it out there as well. Remember Tint Dude, bro that's the old school stuff tj at 620 uh, 612 says how how dare you two piece an 89 porsche 944 you suck one of the other groups exactly who the hell does that help you know our groups my group they're more like hey don't do it or don't tint it or if you're gonna do it this is how you should do it right 
so and i feel you t-jet that's why we started it baby that's why we started it RV says, do you warranty your film? Yes, the manufacturer comes with a warranty. My, my manufacturer's warranty is a premium lifetime warranty. Uh, basically, uh, covering against film failure, any bubbling, peeling, fading, delamination, anything. Basic film failure, and it's going to be covered through the, war through the warranty. Listen, if it's one window or two windows, I'll probably just eat it because I'm not going to take the time to to write in a warranty and blah, 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 and try to get a credit. Now, if it's a few cars and there are it's a bad run, that happens then i might go ahead and do that but besides that um i'll probably just eat the one window because it is what it is <laughs> i seen a guy frankenstein a tesla while body under it wow best deal window tent out in orlando bro he's sick he is good he is good and he's the nicest guy he's the nicest guy uh oh, I gotta restart, reshuffle my music. I need more music. Uh, Arby, you warranty dyed film for lifetime? Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do. I don't. My manufacturer, Solar Effects Window Films, they warranty it, and I extend the warranty to my clients. Um, e Eli, e Elu, ah, you're right. I can never remember his damn name, but he is awesome. Um, so yeah, they offer a lifetime warranty, premium lifetime warranty with their dyed, the their color stable dyed film. And I offer it to my clients. So yes, the answer is yes, we do offer it. You have to think though, if you, the average person keeps their car for a little over six and a half years. So statistically a film just needs to be able to last seven years and further to statistically outbeat the client owning the vehicle. Once the client sells the vehicle, the lifetime warranty, it's non-transferable. There's only, there's only one film company that offers a li a, a transferable lifetime warranty. So. It is a great warranty. You're right. Yeah, Jaybird, uh, this one is about two hours, eight minutes. Um, so it did take me a little bit longer. I started getting frustrated at the very front and I probably, I, I typically do cars one to five years old. Um, and I'm going to start, uh, I, I'm going to cut it off at 10 years because older cars, it just takes a little bit longer to clean. There's always something different with it. Um, you know windows could be broken you got 10 years of crap i mean this is a 2001 this, this thing's 19 years old right so i think what i'm going to do is if a car is 10 years or older i'm just going to double my rates so if it's more than 10 years my rate's going to double that's it that's it one to five years i'm going to keep my rates the same and then 10 years i'm just going to double it because i just don't want to do it but i'll do it for double the money too much of a hassle everyone's got a price though right or like one to five years chill, uh, six to 10 years, maybe maybe like a 25% boost or a 50% boost. And then 10 plus, like definitely a big ass boost. Jaber says four years carbon effects on my mom's car looks brand new. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, I, these guys, Sean Volger, um, Robert Volger, the, all these guys over at Solar Effects, they're solid guys. They, they, they keep it, they keep it straight with their clients. If someone wants to open up a Solar Effects dealership, like three miles from me, they would call me first and said, Hey, there's a guy that wants to open up a dealer, uh, you know, uh, a tent shop next to you wants to use Solar Effects. Is it cool? And I have the power to say yes or no, you know, they're protecting me and their current clientele. 
that's why i'm telling everyone i'm telling you in the next in the next three years two to three years solar effects is going to be one of the top brands available i'm telling you right now um so you better y'all better jump on them quick I'm telling you cut patterns tight for top load you damn right i do uh tj says do you warranty darker than legal legal work my my old shop didn't so i don't i don't know um warranty here's the thing with warranties warranties one of the stipulations of a warranty being valid is that the that the the window film installed on the vehicle needs to be legal so so this vehicle was actually illegal it was 30 fronts 15 back so the warranty will cover it because it, it complies with state laws technically if you install film you can some people want to dance with the devil some people want to put limo all around their car technically they're not going to get a warranty from the manufacturer because the film um is not going to last that long you can still give them a warranty because most the, the film i use is so dang good um and i have such trust in it that they're probably not going to have a problem you know technically is it is it illegal yes technically should they not get a warranty yes Am I going to still take care of them if shit happens? Yes, because that's my responsibility as a, as a business owner to take care of my clients. So, uh, the, Jeremy B says, is that a flat out or an orange crush? That is an orange crush, not a flat out. The flat outs are yellow. I have a flat out. I just haven't, I haven't had the time to get to try it out yet. Film on this side. I was going to do the heat box demo because we're doing just a, our entry level film. Do you see that sticker right there? Martin needed something out of my garage and he was in the Tampa area so I told him to go ahead and he slapped an alligator window tint and detail sticker on that so now it just looks like I stole it from him <laughs> uh, but I was gonna do the heat box demo because we're doing the entry level the dyed stuff I was seeing I was gonna see if we can bump up at least to the to the um, to the first level ceramic super chatted one uh, but I just wasn't feeling cents. it just wasn't feeling it I don't know Carmelo Diaz thank you very much for two dollar super chat thank you very much you're brand new and welcome to the channel baby welcome what time is it pan bear says waiting for the for the restock date to move to come to order my first set of rolls of solar effects i know everyone's out everyone's out right now everyone's out right now uh, i'm actually using my tint Wiz app uh because i had this appointment this is where i messed up on this appointment i typically tell people an hour and a half to two hours especially if i'm gonna be hand cutting well he kind of threw the glare strip on top of it i don't do the glare strip but he threw the glare strip on top of it um, which is going to add a little bit of time i had an 11 o'clock appointment um so i gave myself exactly two hours for this and i shouldn't have here's the problem it takes me an hour and a half to two hours to tint the car but there's also a setup breakdown and then i gotta give warranty information and take payment like all that stuff takes time so if you're going to be doing mobile make sure to give yourself enough time to do the job travel there set up breakdown and closing out keep that in mind because then uh, unfor i mean my 11 o'clock was a full windshield i was gonna make 150 dollars on the full windshield um and i tried to push them back an hour and they couldn't so i, I did have to reschedule with my with my clients um but um but unfortunately but like that you know th that little lapse in 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 judgment and in, in scheduling conflict you know cost me 150 that day but it's okay i'm gonna make it back so if not that's a lesson learned i'll eat it if it threatens my reputation i agree with you 100 i won't put anything darker than 50 on a windshield i've done a few and 35 for close friends that's it uh exactly 50 50 percent is good clear is good um you know some people will ask for uh 30 percent i won't go 15 but some people ask for 30 percent um and i and i really hem and haw about that if they're a little bit younger if you know i mean if it's like an older person that like has really thick glasses that ain't happening um but realistically now that i'm running my own business i probably won't do a 30 percent windshield just because the, the the liability isn't worth it 
so maybe a close close friend a personal friend like my personal friends and my family don't pay for window tint don't even pay for the film i just i tint their cars for free because that, that's what it is what it is it's it's you know what it is it's when you when you give a friend of a friend a discount like like my jobs are 189 right but let's say a friend of a friend wants to get hooked up and i do it for like a hundred bucks let's just say fucking hell froze over and i'm doing hundred dollar window tents which has never fucking happened but let's just say it's gonna happen right um that hundred dollar tent job is gonna bite me in the ass i can almost guarantee you and it's always the the people that you give discounts to and and um and deals to that come back and bite you in the ass the people that pay six hundred dollars for my high my super ceramic high-end stuff i never hear a peep from them but the person that, that dogs me down from 189 to like 159 let's say i just didn't have any work and i wanted the cash for that day that guy he's gonna call me back for every for every speck of shit or whatever and he's gonna be a pain in the ass i'm gonna have to redo a couple windows blah 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 and at the end of the day to keep people happy you're just gonna have to reimburse them giving the tent for free so they can shut up and they don't dog you online that's what you have to do you know remember uh, i was a friends person not a seinfeld person but do you guys remember the soup nazi soup no soup for you you remember that guy i want to be that guy for the window tent so bad i want to so bad you know but i can't you can't not not with uh in, in today's technology and age uh with comments and and reviews people won't even work with you and they'll leave you a bad review because you didn't give them a deal you know so it is what it is the very end i don't know it's a marathon not a race i try you know what and i should have been smarter because i i only gave myself uh, myself two hours to finish this job and it's a mobile job so obviously i have to drive here and then i have to set up break down that's at least 30 to 40 minutes total on the front end and on the back end if i drop another piece of tape i swear to christ Google reviews can bite you back. You're dang right. You're dang right. Oh, you got to smile. Smile and be very clear about your business and your business model and who you want to do business with. Gonna go ahead and use the bottom as the straight edge this time. One way to know if you're straight or not on the bottom, as long as you cut this and this without it shifting, then the distance between the edge of the film and the edge of the frame should be the same here and here.
Doing well. I got this one window and then the glow strip and we are pretty much done. Oh my land, you got a little, little one. How old is she? Four months. Four months? Wow, you got your hands full. It's hands full. So the back is also uh, 15, right? Correct. Correct. And that keeps you Florida, Florida legal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you can, can't you put like uh, darker, darker in the back? Uh, that is the darker, because the 30 in the front is the lighter version. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing that you see on the back of like SUVs uh -huh. from the dealership. That's the same shade. Okay. Yeah. If you go any darker than that, then it would it wouldn't be legal. I mean, you can Put go. Mm-hmm. Oh really? I thought you can like put how much color. I mean, uh, any darkness. Like in the back. Um. Only not the front. Like crossovers, yeah. uh, trucks, vans. Those are considered multi-purpose vehicles and sedans and coupes are not considered multi-purpose, so there's, there, there's different laws between the two. Oh, really? So yeah, so if it was a truck, you'd be correct, or if it was a van or a minivan, um, anything besides a sedan or like a coupe, a two-door coupe, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, how can I get darker, uh, darker back? Uh... Yeah, the customer's just checking in, seeing how, <laughs> seeing how things were going. I mean, I wouldn't have brought my damn four-month-old baby out there, Jeezel. Especially with COVID and other stuff, Florida is like probably one of the crazier places with COVID. I go and left my baby inside. Cute kid though. Cute kid. I told him two hours and we're literally right at two hours. So what can you do? Sometimes just people want to make sure that they're not breaking their shit. Just for your tent. They have to pull you over for like a broken tail light or if you run a stop sign. And and realistically, as long as you're as long as you drive like a normal person, you know, if you're not doing like 140, if you're not doing donuts and things of that nature, then you'll uh, most likely be fine. Yeah, because my my old lady has had illegal. I mean, she's had dark, dark tint on her car for forever. Yeah, I just saw a lot of vehicles. They were like dark, dark, and I thought 15 is a darker. No, no, it can go darker. This is 15 and five is three times darker. Yeah, so, I had uh, five in uh, California, but on Toyota Prius, and uh, I thought here only 15. Ah. Uh, uh, but yeah. Well, the weird thing, it's, tint is weird because in, it's different in every state. The laws are different. And like New York, the darkest you can go is 70%, which is like super, super light. Yeah. Like very, very light. So and then like in, in Arizona, New Mexico, any car, the back end can be anything. It doesn't matter. So that's probably, you know, because you're yeah. from California, that's yeah. probably why back, you've heard that. You can use any color. Yeah. That's why I thought it was going to be the same here. That's yeah, no, every state's a little bit different. Like in Alab like Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, they're all 35. So it has to be lighter than the front. Everything to be legal. Ah, looks like Obey Area has a lot of free time now. Quarantined till the 19th. Dang my dude obey very good guy if you guys want to watch uh obey underscore area I, I play a lot with him when i do the gaming content as well so you guys can check him out as well awesome guy on twitch go ahead and check him out sp diddy says just waiting tint goes on the outside oh i think he already asked that i think he really already asked that for real <laughs> So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much on YouTube. Thank you very much on Facebook. Uh, we're just about done. So I think this is a success. I know it's a little bit different from what we normally do. But like I said, the content is fresh and clean and crisp. There's no buffing. There's no, it's just right there. The information's right there. It's basically the same damn thing. Um, and then I get to sit here with you guys and answer questions with you and do that whole great thing. Plus, it is a little bit later in the evening. So like people on the West Coast can watch it, people on the East Coast can watch it, and people are home. Usually when I do these live streams from the shop, they're like, people are working, right? So people don't have the time to watch. So I think this is a plus. I think we're going to be doing this from now on. I, I still will do my live streams on Tuesdays if I have, you know, a topic, a particular topic that I think will be very interesting or if I have someone to interview. Um, but if not, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff like this because I think this is a banger for sure. So thank you very much. If you guys, again, if you guys are on YouTube, make sure to sub to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I go live or upload new videos. I do do gaming content as well. That's just for my own shits and gigs and for fun. 
um so you guys don't have to watch that portion but yeah if you guys are on facebook thank you very much uh make sure to comment and make sure to share the stream please thank you gonna be finishing up in just a little bit guys thanks again For those of you guys who are curious about that peel board, that is just an acrylic sheet, right? So just Google acrylic sheets and obviously have your your note of your your location set on, and then you, it'll pop up. If you go to shopping or if you go to all, uh, it'll pop up uh, acrylic acrylic sales, plastic sales. They'll sell you a board. Um, actually, I think I think Martin got this board for like twenty bucks because it was a scrap piece and it kind of worked. So you might deal with you might do that something like that um yeah so just uh, go ahead and type it up they're very cheap very affordable again they're acrylic so they're bendy i, I try not to cut on it because then you, it's gonna get cut up um but uh but you know it's better than me trying to walk around with a glass board because that shit will break and the van is just not big enough to 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 um set up a piece of glad glass and keep it there so uh google acrylic sheets and i guarantee you can find uh, find someone that can uh they can get it for you for sure worst case scenario i'll start fucking selling these things <laughs> i'll get them for 20 and i'll sell them for 100 no i'm kidding <laughs> weird it's like sticking in some and it's sliding in others so leave it welcome one yes hell yeah this is great got the bell on now that's what i'm talking about that's all it is just let you let, let look at the thumbnails the thumbnails that i have are basically the same thing but the car changes each and every time so then that way you guys know that you're going to be watching a live stream from the shop with me here I know what was going on right here. I don't think I shrunk very well because the start fingers were started going this way. A little bit of finger was going this way. It should not fingers shouldn't have not popped up like that. So I don't know what was going on there, but but yeah. Ooh, look at that. I just pushed that little bit, little bit out there. Pink. Pink. I love that tri edge, baby. But here's the good thing about Solar Effects window films is that the the scratch resistant coating on that is a beast. I have to use a triage whenever I use Lumar at the shop um, because if I use anything else besides a fresh triage, I'm scratched the shit out of Lumar. The scratch resistant coating at Lumar is fucking horrible. Um, but this, I can beat the hell out of it with my freaking Platinum Easy Reach, which I've had for like three years or something like that. So 
Customer distraction. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Uh, any recommendations for separating the, the, the liner from the film? You can grind it between your teeth, but you always get like a little bit. You know what I mean? You either you crease it, or you crunch it just a little bit when you grind your teeth. Um, you can take a fresh blade, and if it's like slid against the wall, you can take a fresh blade and just with the Ulfa knife and just graze the tip with a fresh blade, and you typically catch it between the film and the liner. Um, or you can you can tell you can hack it with your fingernail. That's the way I do it. I don't like grinding my teeth because then yeah, you get it like that. So so and I'm doing I'm doing a little bit of work here. But that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it we've been we've been running it for let's see we're running for just over two hours right now so uh we have been going for quite some time um but yeah i mean we're pretty much done with this car back window side window side window side back window side back window quarter window quarter window so um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let me see what i can do here that was pretty much it baby let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and do this and bring that back. Wow, I'm like really close up. There we go. Shh. I'll keep it just like this. Um, I feel like I have to get closer. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, we're gonna get closer. Screw it. <laughs> Uh, nothing worse than scratch on the big air. Oh, ain't that the truth on a windshield from, oh, no, no scratches on air 80. None. We don't want to talk about that. We don't talk. I want to talk about that. I mean, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys liked it this evening. This is what we're going to be doing from now on. Um, like I said, the quality just wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Um, the, the, the Wi-Fi isn't as great on the, on the field. So I'm, I'm just working with what I got. So. I, I guys i hope you guys like this big shout outs to our sponsors again guys over at tintwiz check them out tintwiz.com dry string prep check it out dry prep.com our guys over at solar effects uh check them out solar effects window films.com as well big shout outs to everyone that donated and super chatted we're going to go through some real quickly uh jy's with a 25 dollar dono uh jy's with a five dollar dono jy's with a five dollar dono jy's with a one dollar dono jy's with a one dollar dono jy's with a four dollar twenty cents dono very appreciative jy's thank you very much very generous of you guys Guys. over there on the on the youtube side with the super chats alligator window tint with the five dollar super chat also with the two dollar super chat t jet with the two dollar super chat and the two dollar super chat panda bear ten dollar super chat fifteen dollar super chat twenty dollar super chat fifty dollar super chat t jet with the five dollar super chat mike d thanks again for the ten dollar super chat and carmelo diaz with the two dollar super chat thank you very much guys i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um it does mean the world to me that you guys sit and take the time to watch what i have to watch to offer to you guys and that you guys spend your good hard money uh to to donate to the channel um just it, it really helps and i do appreciate it uh ricky thank you again uh ricky everyone good job brother uh i learned a lot watching your videos absolutely i am gonna be back for you guys are on youtube uh, make sure to like like the video comment on it if you'd like make sure to sub to the channel hit the bell notification as well if you guys are on facebook if you guys are watching this live or watching the rebroadcast make sure to share it um either with your stream or any other groups as well so guys that's it that's it that's all i got for today if you guys don't like it i'm sorry that's the best i got in regards to live streaming and stuff like that so i will be still coming out with some dedicated videos sometime <laughs> if you guys like my my uh, gaming content you guys can see that on facebook and on youtube as well i've been playing a lot of call of duty love it play with the play with the old lady and close friends like uh like uh obey area over here as well so uh i'm gonna be out guys thank you very much again for taking the time i love y'all be safe and we'll talk to y'all soon